Hello, this is MicroJ101, and here is my um, temperature controller, and I'm doing some upgrades on it. I added a fuse and a little indicator light, just because I had the inter indicator light and I thought I should, and you guys suggested that um, because I asked if it should have a fuse, and you guys said it should, um, so I added a fuse, and the highest, wa highest rated fuse I had was 15 amps, so that's just what I put there. Or actually, the fuse holder is really rated for 15 amps, so I shouldn't go over 15 amps. But um, yeah, so here's the little um, rail mount that I made for the uh, solid state relay or solid state contactor. So it's pretty sturdy. I used the blowtorch to solder that down because I just couldn't heat it up with a normal soldering iron, of course. But um, <clears throat> so yeah works pretty good. It's kind of hard to get it on there just because it's not quite the right shape. These are too angled actually. They should be more parallel to this metal, but I couldn't really get it that bent. So, yeah. But I've got it all wired in. So the power comes in here through the fuse and then these two wires come out of the fuse. One goes to the um one will go to the um <clears throat> controller module and the other one goes to right here, which will go to the um, solid state relay. So I think it should be good. So then we've got the um, light, the indicator light, just wired right across the outlet. I just thought I might as well um, add that while I was at it, and it would kind of make it symmetrical too, because you'd have something up here, something down here. I thought it would make it look good. So I think it should be pretty good after this. It'll be perfect. Added some more wiring and everything, so it looks good. So now I just got to stick everything back in and test it out. Alright, so I've got this solid state contactor back in there and um, yeah, I just have to put the uh, temperature controller module back in and then we will be done with it. So, got everything, almost everything hooked up. So, um, I did use a little bit of epoxy on the light there because um, it's one of the little um, tabs that kind of pop out and hold it in there was broken off so it wasn't very secure so I put some epoxy on there. Well, I mean pretty much nothing that everything that I get is um pretty much everything I get is in not perfect condition because well I mean it's used from something else like this fuse I have no idea what it came from I forget um the, the um, temperature plug there or the thermocouple plug that came from something the light came from a power supply or something I don't remember um, the contactor, though, that is actually brand new. It was still in the box, and uh, my dad's work was throwing it away. So I was like, I'm grabbing that, because I could use that for something. So, um, yeah, I got that for free. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so... And actually, the um, temperature controllers, those were used as well, but um, they're in pretty good condition. So, yeah. All right, so we've got everything back in there now. And it's all wired up and everything, and it looks really good. So, got the zip ties back on the wires. Well, I actually never took them off, but I tightened them back up. And so it looks nice and neat. And safe. With a new fuse now, so that's good. And um, I also added this little metal tab right here. I just soldered that on there. And that's because the um, casing right there was kind of flimsy. So when you pick it up, it would bend in. And I didn't really like that, so I added that little bit of metal. Quick fix. So everything should be good now. So now we just got to put the, co ca the that cover back on and test it out. And yeah. So, yep. So it has a fuse now and a light. So it'll be much better. All right, let's give it a test. So I just turn the power on. And oh, there we go. The light is on. And it's working. I don't know how to set it. 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Put it at like 110. That looks good. Much easier to see than this when you're at an angle like this. So that's good. And fuse is in there. That's almost up at temperature. And the side is nice and secure now. It doesn't bend in like it used to. So that's good. So, yeah. And then I also changed the 15, or the 20 amps to 15 because um, I have a 15 amp fuse in there. Because, well, the fuse holder is rated for 15 amps, so I thought that it probably shouldn't have it at 20 amps. 
Although usually you're not going to have a load like that that's 20 amps, unless it's a big heater. But, um, yeah. It could probably handle 20 amps, the fuse holder. Just not for a long time. Alright, that's about it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.